Welcome back to our channel, an engaging oasis where we delve into the mysteries of leading a life brimming with vitality and fulfillment. I'm your host, Sean, and in today's enlightening episode, going to unearth, explore, and delve into eight potent morning rituals that have the power to metamorphose your happiness quotient and set the foundation for a truly amazing day. Starting with the very first step of this invigorating journey, the act of cherishing and acknowledging gratitude. Groundbreaking research and several empirical studies suggest that the simple practice of expressing gratitude can significantly amplify happiness and augment overall well-being. Each morning, as the sun paints the sky with shades of gold, take a few tranquil moments to introspect and reflect on the aspects of your life you're genuinely grateful for. It could be the most trivial blessings, like the comforting warmth of your bed on a cold winter morning, or the sweet chirping of birds that make the dawn magical. Or, it could be profound joys that are the pillars of your existence, like the unwavering love you receive from your family or the satisfaction of making a difference in someone's life. Reflecting on my own experience, I vividly remember a phase in my life when I consciously made an effort to start my day enveloped in gratitude. And believe me when I say, it wholly shifted my perspective on life. Now let's talk about candle flame meditation. This ancient practice, steeped in tradition and wisdom, has been used for centuries to cultivate inner peace and clarity. Picture this for a moment. You are sitting comfortably in a serene, quiet room. The silence is calming, the ambiance is peaceful. In front of you is a flickering candle, its soft light casting a warm, inviting glow around the room. The candle flame jumps and dances, hypnotizing and mesmerizing, pulling your focus towards it. The rhythmic pulsations serve as an anchor for your attention. It's a dance, a gentle ballet of light and shadow. Its movements are unpredictable yet soothing, much like the ebb and flow of our own thoughts and feelings. This simple flame becomes a symbol of your consciousness, a mirror reflecting your inner state. As you sit, you allow yourself to become one with this flame. You absorb its tranquility, its grace, its constancy. You watch it, you breathe with it, you connect with it on a deep spiritual level. This is not just about sitting quietly, it's about engaging with the present, about deep contemplation and introspection. It's about creating a connection, a bridge between you and the universe around you. You find your thoughts slowing down, mirroring the steadiness of the flame. The external world fades away, leaving you with the flame and your breath. The flame's dance becomes your dance. The flame's calm becomes your calm. You enter a state of heightened awareness, a state of mindfulness, where every second is sacred, every moment is treasured. It's not just about sitting quietly, it's about creating a sacred moment of presence and mindfulness. Reflecting on impermanence may sound philosophical, but it's a profound concept that can transform how we approach life's challenges. This concept, although dense and complex, essentially implies that nothing in life is everlasting. Nothing stays the same, and everything we know, everything we are familiar with, undergoes constant change. Consider this, the world around us, the landscapes, the seasons, they are all in a state of continuous transformation. The beautiful rainbow you witness today will not be the same tomorrow. The seasons shift, the landscapes evolve, all signifying that change is the only constant. Now let's apply this idea to our lives. Our relationships are our circumstances. They are all fluid, all subject to change. Your worries today may seem immense and insurmountable, but remember, they too are temporary. The joy you're feeling right now might seem eternal, but it too will evolve, maybe into something even more beautiful. Just like the falling leaves in autumn, our fears, anxieties, and troubles are not permanent. As we understand and embrace this truth, we learn go of the weight of our attachments. We become less afraid of losing, less anxious about the uncertain future, and more focused on the now. This understanding of impermanence helps us find calmness amidst chaos. We learn to lean into the winds of change instead of fighting against them. We start to truly value every moment, every interaction, every experience, because we know it's not going to last forever. By embracing impermanence, we learn to let go of attachments and find peace in the present moment. Mindful eating is more than just a trend. It's a transformative practice that helps us reconnect with the sensory experience of food. Have you ever paused to truly savor a piece of fruit, 
taking in its scent, color, and texture even before you take a bite? Have you ever let a sip of tea linger in your mouth, absorbing its warmth and flavor before swallowing? This is the essence of mindful eating. It's not just about taste, smell, texture, color, and even sound all play a part in our eating experience. The crunch of a crisp apple, the vibrant color of fresh berries, the aroma of baked bread, all these elements combine to make eating a multi-sensory experience. Mindful eating teaches us to slow down and really appreciate these experiences, transforming the act of eating into a form of meditation. This practice encourages us to pay attention to our body's hunger and fullness cues, helping us to make healthier food choices and preventing overeating. It's not about dieting or deprivation, but about finding joy and satisfaction in each mouthful. Through mindful eating, we can deepen our understanding of food. We learn to appreciate where it comes from, the effort that went into growing and preparing it, and the nourishment it provides. This heightened awareness can lead to a greater appreciation of our meals and a more profound connection to the food we eat. We discover that food is not just fuel, but a source of pleasure and a way to connect with others and the world around us. Mindful eating enhances our relationship with food and brings a sense of gratitude and satisfaction to each meal. Setting an intention for the day is like setting a compass for your journey ahead. This action is a beacon of light, a guiding star that lights up our path, providing us with a clear vision of where we want to go and how we want to feel. The morning, with its fresh and peaceful aura, is the perfect time to do this. As the first rays of the sun touch the earth, we are given a new chance, a fresh start to begin anew. Just like the sun that consistently rises each day, we too can start our day with a renewed of purpose. The beauty of setting an intention is that it can be uniquely individual. It could be about being more patient, choosing to see the positive in every situation, or deciding to take that first step towards achieving a long-held dream. It could be about embracing of the day with courage or deciding to give more than you take. Introspection is key. It's about looking within yourself and understanding what you need. It's about recognizing your strengths and acknowledging your weaknesses. It's about accepting yourself for who you are and taking steps to becoming the person you want to be. Remember, the intention is not a strict rule. It's a gentle guidance. It's not about being perfect, but about being better than we were yesterday. It's not about achieving everything at once, but about taking one step at a time, one day at a time. Courageously set your intention. Let it serve as a reminder to live consciously, to make mindful decisions, to be present in every moment, and to embrace each opportunity that comes your way. Take a moment each morning to ask yourself, what is my intention for today? It could be as simple as choosing to be kind to yourself or focusing on a specific goal. It sets the tone and energy for the day, encouraging you to live in alignment with your true self. Loving kindness meditation is a profound instrument in the cultivation of compassion, both towards ourselves and to the people around us. This unique form of meditation is about more than just sitting in silence. It's about actively extending authentic wishes for happiness, safety, and overall well-being. It is directed towards everybody, encompassing those close to us, the strangers we encounter daily, and even those individuals with whom our interactions have been challenging or strained. It's a wonderful practice that reaches beyond the borders of our individual selves and touches the universal human experience. It is about acknowledging that despite our differences, we all have the same fundamental desires. We all seek happiness, safety, and a life free from suffering. It teaches us the invaluable lesson of empathy. It pushes us to put ourselves in the shoes of others and understand their experiences, their joys, and their struggles. With each session, we foster a deeper understanding of our shared humanity, irrespective of our individual differences. Yet, it doesn't stop at empathy. The practice of loving-kindness meditation also encourages and nurtures a sense of interconnectedness, it highlights the fact that our actions and thoughts inevitably affect those around us and that we, in turn, are affected by theirs. It underlines our mutual dependency, reminding us that we are not solitary entities but part of a larger, intricate web of humanity. It's not just about fostering kindness towards others, it also changes the way we treat and perceive ourselves. It's about developing a habit of self-love, self-acceptance, and self-compassion. 
This practice not only nurtures empathy, but also fosters a sense of interconnectedness and kindness. Our bodies are our temples, and mindful movement is a way to honor and respect them. Every muscle, bone, and tissue is a part of an intricate system designed to carry us through life, a work of biological art that deserves to be cherished and nurtured. The philosophy of mindful movement is a radiant beacon of this notion. It is not just about exercise, but the embodiment of a higher consciousness, a realization of the interconnectivity of body, mind, and spirit. Whether it is through the deep, stretching poses of a gentle yoga flow, the rhythmic paces of a brisk walk in the midst of lush green nature, or the calming, rhythmic progression a series of stretching exercises, mindful movement serves as a pathway. It is a bridge, guiding us closer to understanding our physical selves. In this journey of self-discovery, we indulge in the elegance of fluid motions, feeling each contraction and expansion, each breath inhaled and exhaled. We learn to listen to the silent whispers of our bodies, acknowledging the signals of fatigue or tension. And in doing so, we cultivate a heightened sense of awareness and appreciation for our physical being. When we engage in mindful movement, we are not simply exercising, we are partaking in an active meditation. It allows us to focus on the present moment, to be fully immersed in the experience we find comfort in the rhythm, peace in the silence, and strength in the effort. Mindful movement helps us reconnect with our physical selves, release tension, and strengthens our bond with our body. It encourages us to treat our bodies like the wonderful complex masterpieces they are, to love them, respect them, and care for them with the attention and kindness they deserve. Whether you're a seasoned yogi or a beginner to fitness, the practice of mindful movement is a gift you owe to yourself. You'll find that it doesn't just transform your body, it transforms your entire perspective on life. Lastly, let's talk about the power of doing nothing. It might seem counterintuitive in our fast-paced, always online society, where everyone is pursuing their dreams and chasing their goals. But there's an underestimated strength in stillness, an unforeseen force in idleness. In a world filled with relentless noise, the power of silence is often overlooked. Yet it is in the quiet moments when we are able to detach from the constant chatter and distraction that we find our true selves. The concept of doing nothing can seem foreign, possibly even terrifying to some. It's a state of being that seems to contradict everything we've been taught about productivity and success. Yet when we delve deeper, we find that it's not about being unproductive or passive, but rather about actively engaging with ourselves, our thoughts and emotions. In our ceaseless pursuit of success, we often fail to realize that our minds, like our bodies, need rest and recovery. Just as physical fitness necessitates intervals of rest for optimal performance, our mental fitness requires periods of tranquility for optimal functionality. By embracing the power of doing nothing, we allow our minds to wander, to dream, to reflect, and to devise. We give ourselves the freedom to explore our inner landscapes and discover our true passions and desires. We learn to hover in the present moment rather than rushing towards an uncertain future or dwelling on a past that can't be altered. Doing nothing doesn't mean abandoning all action. It's an invitation to slow down, to breathe, to simply be. It's a permission to step away from the frenzy, to appreciate the beauty of solitude, to reconnect with our own selves. Such moments provide us with a renewed sense of perspective, clarity, and creative energy. In a world filled with constant stimulation and busyness, taking a break from everything and embracing the power of doing nothing can be the ultimate act of self-love and self-care. It's an integral part of our well-being and a practice we should all consider incorporating into our lives. Thank you for waving. Please subscribe, comment, and like. Also take your gun and shoot the notification bell so can get info.